Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video here, and I am here to show you how to tame yourself some giant bees. Now, I'm also here to show you what they're good for now, which is a lot, actually, so that's a lot. Now anyways, my little plug, if you don't mind liking this video, if you're enjoying this, or you're like, hey, you know, this helped me out, that'd be awesome. And if you haven't subbed already, really appreciate that, i um, trying to get some more subs, but I'm hopefully enjoying my content, if you haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out. So what is the giant queen bee these are the things you see in the wild you can see that they gather honey which is nice because honey is useful because honey can let you tame things and it makes things and blah blah blah, blah. you get the point so there is a really easy way to tame these guys you have to put on ghillie suit wear bugs spray and then just follow them around that's the easiest way one of the hardest time people have is breaking the hive let me show you how to do that it's very easy throw down c4 back away from said C4, and boom. The queen bee is unharmed. She runs around, and she will try and attack you. And uh, so we're little minions. If you put rare flowers into your inventory, you can literally just chase her. Hwah! Come on now. Hwah! Please? Oh, uh, it's because I'm technically... She's afraid of me right now. So, if I was to... You know what? I'm going to blow her up. Why not? See ya! But if I was to have some bug repellent as well as some other stuff, it would not be difficult. I would have a little option to feed her. And, you know, just to show you it works. And there's some C4. What in the heck? Is that an invincible beehive? That's neato. Okay, well I did not mean to spawn an invincible beehives in. So anyways, what happens when you do tame her? Easy. You get a beehive that looks something like this. Now it is your own personal beehive. Place it very carefully, because on maps like Aberration, you can't pick it back up. And sometimes there is a glitch where you can't pick it up, and it's a pain in the butt to tame these things. You cannot cryopot them. There's a whole bunch of special rules. Be careful. Once you place it down, make sure you want to keep it in that area. So usually put it where a greenhouse is. Now also, you have to put rare flowers in it in order for it to actually work. Notice how I've got this like little countdown timer and the bees hovering around me. If you access this inventory without Gilead or Bug Spray, they will do damage to you, about half your damage on average, which is a pain in the butt, obviously. So, that being said, be careful about that. And always make sure you have rare flowers. It's one of the biggest mistakes people make about these beehives. They forget to put rare flowers in them. If you forget to put rare flowers, the bee will die. It'll, I mean, the beehive will die and the bee will pop out. Now, that's where it gets dangerous. Yes, most of the time the bee will be waiting for you. However, glitches happen. It's arc. Be very careful. Just make sure you have rare flowers in there and they will produce you honey. They will not stack the honey unless you're playing like a modded series, in which case it will, but it'll fill this guy up. Usually takes quite a few hours to do that, though, so I would take that honey and put it straight into a refrigerator because it stores longer. Now that's up to you, so entirely up to you. Now, you can blow your own beehive up. As you can see, it does not always end well, and as a matter of fact, my bee is now dead. So, beehives are pretty easy. They give you honey. That's literally all they're good at. I wish they would do like a turret mode or something like that. I am unaware of them being able to do it. That'd be a really cool use for them, though, other than just honey. That's just a proposition, I suppose. I should never be handed C4 because I turn out to be quite dangerous with it. I'm going to stop now. All right, anyways, hope you enjoyed that quick little mini video and Teacher's Game 2.